Hey everyone, my name is Peyton and this is going to be a somewhat quick video just showing off how you can add existing templates to existing projects. I've done a video like this in the past, but I wanted to go and kind of do one that is a little bit more updated just with some of the newer UI as well as a uh, yeah, newer project as well. But I am here in the Electric Dreams demo. Uh, you might have saw this one come out that was basically featuring their PCG tools and all inside of Unreal Engine, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the video that you might have saw as well, which I'll drop right here real quick, uh, they actually have a Rivian vehicle driving through it. Um, this is pretty cool to actually see, but of course, probably just for licensing and all, the video or the vehicle itself did not come with the, the project when it was released. And so I wanted to just show how you could add a existing template and actually have your own vehicle in here. So um, yeah, starting off here in of course the, the level, this one's pretty rough and all, so we'll probably use the more rugged vehicle itself. Uh, but all I really wanna do first is go down here to my content browser and click on add and then go and find add feature or content pack. So I can click that there. And then I'm going to, of course, see what we basically see when we uh, create a project, which these are the uh, blueprint uh, actual templates that we yeah, can start with. And so this is also a way if you wanted to throw a character in here to run around with or so, but I want a vehicle. So I'm going to select the vehicle template and then I'm just going to add it to project. So this might take a second just because it is going to need to actually add it in. Um, sometimes it might take a little bit longer. That was pretty quick, but uh, we're good to go now. So now we have the actual um, car in here, which is pretty cool. If I go down here, you can see that there's the off-road vehicle and then in the sports car one, there should be the sports car vehicle. But if I actually hit play uh, in this level, we're gonna see that um, it's not actually using that at the moment, um, which, yeah, let me just drag this over here. But uh, it's still using the little drone um, like vehicle that is basically default. And so I want to show, yeah, how we can switch that over, of course. So I'm going to exit out of there and go back to my actual viewport. And we're gonna go up to edit and then go to our project settings. And then in our project settings over here on the left hand side, we're going to find maps and modes. So I'm going to click that. And then you'll see that under the maps and modes, there's uh, this is where you can actually switch your map to like your startup map if you would like, um, which yeah, right now this is starting with the startup. I could change it to the one that I'm currently in, which is the close range. But uh, what I really want to focus on is the default game mode. So right now I am in the animation sandbox one, uh, which is, yeah, I believe kind of the, the drone one, but I actually want to actually switch over to the game mode that comes with these, um, these cars. And so I will probably look for vehicle and there we go turn that on so now we have the vehicle advanced game mode uh, which should be the one down here i actually i think that might be the um sports car i'm going to assume that the off-road game mode is probably going to be the off-road vehicle so i'm just going to search for off-road game mode and now we're good to go so i can exit out of that and hopefully when i press play um should be able to also could probably just right click and play from here as well. And with that, it's actually gonna spawn in the crawler. Uh, so now we have the crawler in our space. And as you can see, uh, if I use WASD, which is the default controls, um, of course, if you also had a controller, this would work probably, uh, but you can start to drive around your vehicle. So um, it's pretty awesome to see uh, just how this vehicle, I know some of these roads might be a little bit small, I would say even for this one, but uh, it's handling the rocks pretty well, which is cool to see. And uh, yeah, basically has a vehicle in this project now. So um, this is basically uh, all it really takes to show like how you can take an existing project that you have um, and 
add in a template if there wasn't a template already in there uh, that you were wanting. And so if you wanted a character in here or a vehicle like I did here, uh, these are pretty easy ways to add those templates to your pre-existing projects. So, and then you're able to, yeah, really use it for whole different uh, method and the templates are really great for just starting off. You know, you're probably going to expand upon it. I would probably eventually want a different type of off-road vehicle for this, um, but this is a great basis to start to understand your player space and what's really going on to your scene. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that quick video um, and I will see you in the next one.